Hey quad bros, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here. This will be a kind of just like interesting informative video here. I found out um, through Reddit. There's a Reddit post by Radio FM42 over on the enlisted subreddit. Shoutouts to him where they added in all of the different tanks in the files. So there's tons and tons of tanks that aren't actually playable in game in the practice range. So we're going to go check those out. We're going to show them off. I'm going to bring in my buddy Jicey in here who's going to be uh, he's a you know military a little bit of an expert. On military history and so he's going to help me out as well um identifying some of these because i have, i have no idea um what's what a lot of these tanks are so we'll go ahead and talk about these and we'll talk about which campaign it'll probably be in and i'll just show them all off all right so if you guys want to see this yourself you just come here to game mode click on practice you're going to hit start and then you're going to select one of your tanks here you'll see we're going to hit tank it's going to spawn us in at the tank shooting range and you can also use this for testing your own tanks you can see there's a panther there so if we wanted to, we could just fire around right to the side there. And you can see we'll pin through and do some damage. And it's a good way of finding out some different weak points and things like that. So let's go over, drive over to all of these different vehicles. And we'll talk about each one individually and which campaigns we think they're going to be in. All right. So first up is this thing. You said it was it's a Hetzer, right? Yep. And then uh, what what size gun is it? Like what do you know? Uh, the Hetzer should have the... Uh... It's a 75 millimeter. Okay. It's not as big as the 75 millimeter on the Panther or the Panzer IV. Okay, so and it's it's like a tank destroyer, right? It's an SPG. Co correct. Yeah. It is it is it is a um, tank destroyer, which the Germans would call a uh, Jagdpanzer. Okay, okay. So its role is really just taking out tanks. Does it even have any whole MGs? Does it have uh, like one maybe? No, it doesn't look like it. Has no, it, it doesn't have a coaxial MG. It does have a top mounted MG34, which I believe the commander would operate. Yeah. So not really going to be something that we're going to be seeing to take down like infantry. But I don't know if there's, I don't know. When, when would this tank have seen like, is this going to be in Berlin probably? I can't, or is it, is it in Moscow? So this will most likely be uh, on the Eastern Front. So what they did okay. is, you know, the premium Soviet tank in, uh, uh, not Soviet tank, I'm sorry, German tank in yeah. Moscow? Yep, the 38, that, uh, yeah. So what they did was they took the, it's it's pretty much that tank, but they chopped off most of the hull and dropped like that that oh. weird trapezoid on top of it with the big 75 millimeter oh. cannon on it. Okay. Um, they were used as tank destroyers because as Germany lost later in the war when they started losing all their tanks on the Eastern Front, this was an easy conversion instead of building a whole new tank. Ah, okay. And you can also see it's like, can't really pin. Like, there's not really anywhere. Maybe it's just bugged right now. Yeah, it kind of pins through. Not, it's going to be a pretty hard tank to take take down, I think. Like if the it's any seven. Yeah, if, if the angling is anything like the T60, it's going to be tough to take yeah, down. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And then whatever the hell this thing is. See, this is why I brought you in, because I have no idea what the hell this thing is. It looks yeah. like, some, uh, I mean, a tank destroyer as well, right? That is another tank destroyer. I believe that is a that that is a Jagdpanzer IV. Okay. Oh, yeah, I've seen these in War Thunder. Yeah, yes, yes, So yes, just yes. another tank destroyer. Um, would this have been used in Normandy, or is this going to be in Berlin slash Moscow again? This was actually used against the Western Allied forces in Normandy okay. and at the Battle of Bull. It was actually used on both fronts. Um, oh, okay. It made its combat debut in the Eastern Front, but there were several units in Normandy that used the Panzer force. Okay, I would expect us to see this probably in Normandy then, because we have... We just saw the Hetzer. So the Hetzer is probably going to be in like Moscow slash Berlin. And then we'll have this one, I would think, probably in Normandy, right? Because I don't see any anything else that would fit. You know, just have like one tank to on either side would make sense. Mm -hmm. Something. Yeah, it would be weird to have two tank to yeah. in, That's in kind one of a, campaign. They're very sleek. I feel like you're going to be able to do a lot of sneaking around and firing over hills and stuff with them. See, this is new. What is this? That's a Yog. That's a Yog that's Panther. Yog, Yog Panther, yeah. Yeah, that's a Yog Panther. So that's that's a big that's a big fuck you tank. That's a or, oh okay, all right. Yeah, that actually uh, the Yog Panther. <laughs> uh, yeah, that actually has the same 88 millimeter gun that the King Tiger has. Yeah. All right. Well, 45 mil cannon can get to the side, so that's good to know. Mm -hmm. uh, most <laughs> most of the tank destroyers are very heavily armored, like face front towards enemy, yeah, was, and yeah. uh, not not so much armor on the sides. I mean, 
I mean, uh, like getting smacked by this cannon though would not be a good time. Oh God, no. That that's that's death. So that's so they're really heavily armored in the front, but obviously the sides. So you got to flank past those things. But they're probably really vulnerable <laughs> to um, explosive packs. Infantry. And stuff, so. Yeah. Is this? This looks like another. That's what we saw before. That's the Yag Panzer IV. Yep, Yag Panzer IV. Yep. Okay, so that's. I guess that's, that's another Hetzer. Yeah, Hetzer. Okay, so I guess that's everything for. B34, where? Right in front of where I'm aiming. No, that's a BT. Oh, that is a BT. Okay. I was just in that, so I can't see it. To your left is the KJ. Yeah. Or KV, I'm sorry. KV1. Yeah, this is a KV1. Oh, there's a KV2 back there, too. Mm hmm. Okay, so this will be the heavy tank. This is going to be a monster in Moscow. Because they had these in Moscow, right? Wasn't this like the tank that the Germans couldn't really deal with for the most part? More so the KV2s than the KV1s. Okay. Yeah, because these things were... I mean, these were like the heavy tanks that were very heavily armored, hard for the Germans to deal with. But, but we'll probably see that down the road. That would make sense. I wonder how they're going to fit these into the campaigns. I wonder if they're going to extend the campaigns even longer. I don't know. They potentially can because, I mean, 25 is fairly low for yeah. campaign level. And then I guess we're going to be getting an AA, yeah, an AA gun, right? Yeah. That's yes. Just four yes, maxims. That's that's just four, four maxims. Yeah. yeah, four maxims on the back of a it's, truck. It's mounted on a gas truck, but I forget the actual official Soviet designation for it. I can get it for you later, though. Yeah, it's a, it's a. So we'll have some sort. Of, that'll be that'll be a cool vehicle. I bet we'll see that a lot because we'll have people that want to take down planes, but yes. also you can. This will just. I mean, it's four MGs. Like it's gonna shred infantry. Yeah, that thing so, will shred infantry. But then again, infantry can just shoot it. So, we'll see how that goes. That'll be cool. That is an IS-1? Is that an IS-1 right there? IS-152. 152, okay. And then, of course, the KV-2. This thing looks ridiculous. What is that? It's a 152 millimeter howitzer or some shit yes. like that? 100, 152 millimeter howitzer. Jeez, yeah. And it's, like, ridiculously armored. Yes. I don't know. Can this pin it? I wonder. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Even on the flat part? Can I pin down here? You have to hit the neck, right? It's like... Yeah, right. Maybe there. No. Okay. Even at point blank. I mean, we are using APAG, so it's not gonna. Nope. Nowhere. You are shooting it with a 37 millimeter cannon, so. That's true. Yeah. Don't run into these things. Maybe in the very back flat part of the. I guess this isn't entirely flat. God, this thing's turret turns so slow. Oh, that's oh, an okay. IS-1 over there, right? Hand crank. Oh, uh, I did not actually see what was over there. Baby pen? No pen. I mean, they might change it a little bit. Right there, yeah. that's an IS-1, right? IS-2, maybe? I don't know. I saw the white stripe. Yeah, we'll have to see. And then this is the ISU, what'd you say, 52? 152? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the IS-152. That looks like a real machine gun on top, like a modern machine gun piece. And then what is this? This is what they use this thing. Was this for like a like an artillery so, piece? So these these fall into the same area where the German Stugs fall into. They're all classified as assault guns. Right. Um, so what they do is they support the infantry by blasting apart things that the infantry could not. Um, Whether that's a tank or it's a bunker or something like that. More so like fortifications and stuff. Okay. This thing, so that massive 152 millimeter gun, just like on the KV-2, could actually kill the German cat tanks from a kilometer away just using high explosive rounds. Wow, okay. That, but that's this like is going to be like hunting there. Pumas with a Sherman. You're just going to be blasting yeah. tanks with HE rounds. Mm -hmm. okay. They did. They did make an armor piercing round for these that and a um, specific horrible. special round to use against concrete, like against like super heavy bunkers, like the ones you see in Normandy. They would fire it into the side, and the round would go in and then explode inside so this, the bunker. So this thing would be able to pin. You said all the cat tanks. So this thing would be able to pin like a like a tiger mm -hmm. with he. No, no, no. It wouldn't even pen just the concussive force from the round in real life hitting the side of the tank would just rip the tank apart. Jeez. Okay. That, well, that's, that's like how powerful that round that's, was. Uh, that's a good way to go out, I guess. Yeah, I can actually show you pictures of 152 millimeters against Panthers and Tigers. The KV-1 and the KV-2 will be in Moscow, but this will be in... And what about the, uh, what about the ISU-4? 
Uh, 152. Will that be? That's gonna be Berlin, Berlin, Berlin. as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this old and this thing was uh, was this made in response to the Panther or was the Panther made in response to this? No. So actually, it was not made in response to the cat tent. So the IS2 was designed as the uh, replacement to the KV tanks. Ah, okay. And it was also designed, um, since, you know, the Soviets were now on the offensive after, you know... Right, they, after Stalingrad and stuff. After Stalingrad and everything. To break through the enemy lines. So these would... These would be used... Um, in a group to punch through the German line. Okay, so um, basically turning the German tactics against them. Yes, and they were specifically, um, I guess to a, a little bit of a point, they were designed just very similar to like how the Sherman Jumbo was to be not uh, knocked out by the German 88 millimeter guns. Right. So these replaced the KV. -10. And it's got just the one gun on top, it looks like, the one MG on top. Oh no, it's got a coaxial machine gun. It's the little uh, oh, I see to it. the yeah. that thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, that yep, thing right yep, there. Yep, yep. So it's got two MGs on it. It's got a massive gun on it. What was the gun size? 85? Uh, uh no 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 oh, no. These God. have uh 122 millimeter, the oh. DT 25T. My god. Yep. That's gonna turn infantry into paste. Wait, what is this? This is the IS1? What is this? That is an IS-1. Yeah, is okay, so we're going to have an IS-1 and an IS-2. So I'm assuming the IS-1 is just yes. earlier, smaller gun. Looks like... Yeah, 85 millimeter. 85, yeah, okay. Yep. Well, that'll be an early one. Berlin as well, probably. Or Kursk or something like that. And then we have oh, no. a Did technical. I, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember. No, I think some IS-1s had 85 millimeters. Then they switched to the 122s. Uh -huh. And then we just yeah. have a MG on the back of a truck. I kind of hope these aren't vehicles that are like you spawn in. I hope these are like, just on like on the map. Yeah, yeah. just on the map because this would this would be cool to like just jump in with your squad and drive around. I mean, it's I, I, that might be a little too battlefieldy, but yeah, um, it could be kind of so. Cool as just so like the machine a, gun on the back of that truck is the uh, DSHSK, the which, Dishka. Yeah, the Dishka. Yeah. So it is it is the equivalent of the uh, American fifth. Not. Yeah same similar round they, they yeah. perform the same role uh yeah. dishka's is a little bit dishka rounds a little bit bigger than a uh fifth it round. hurts you don't want to yeah, get shot hurts. by it. yeah mm -hmm. getting shot by it is death oh no this is something we missed because this looks like an at gun or something what the oh, hell my is this goodness. thing that's his 30. this thing looks ridiculous it's literally an ET gun on tracks. <laughs> it's adorable. Yeah, it's literally an anti-tank gun on tracks, man. <laughs> it's adorable. I want it. You can drive one in yeah, a Soviet line on uh, War Thunder. You can drive one what? In War Thunder, they have the Zis 32. That thing looks so ridiculous. Yeah. So this is the early T-34s. When did these mm -hmm. go into service? Would this be Moscow, or would this be, like, really late oh, yeah, Moscow? Def, def, no, before even Moscow. Oh, wow. So they had these before the invasion, before Barbarossa? Yes, they had very early team uh, model T-34s all the way in the... Um, I believe they first started producing them in the 30s, uh, the late 30s. I guess that makes sense. It's a 34, because that's when it mm -hmm. went into service, right? Wow. Okay. So we'll see T-34s probably in Moscow and then the 85 in Berlin would make sense. And then I don't know what this is. I mean, he didn't have a ton of them early on. Is this like a T-34, like a later T-34? Yeah, later model T-34. Okay. So it looks like it has a I... 76 on it. Looks like a bigger barrel. Shoot it and find out. Yeah, good point. Because cause I know they... Yeah. Oh, the ammo's not there. I thought the ammo's there. Yeah. I'm trying to find out what, what date the actual... 1943, yeah. It's a 57. Yeah. So 57, not 56. And then that's the 85, right? That's the same one in Berlin. Yeah. Yep, yeah. that's T-3485. That Yo. is a Stug 3. Um, oh, Stug. Early, early model Stug. 
because it has the short barreled 75 millimeter cannon which is the same cannon that the early model panzer 4 has that you see in the moscow oh, in moscow game. okay yes and this is oh. like we talked about before and it's an assault gun so it's gonna be blasting hard. oh i overpinned <laughs> yeah not Plus, very thick armor yeah not I mean, it can kill tanks. It wasn't purposely designed to kill tanks. Yeah. Um, Stoops were actually not crewed um, in the German military during World War II by tankers. They were actually crewed by artillerymen. Oh, right. It's like the, the Brits were like that, too. Yes, the Brits the Brits crewed their tank destroyers with artillerymen. Oh, the, the, uh, I actually blew up the ammo there, and it didn't detonate. Oh, well. Yeah. So that'll be cool. That's just going to be basically blasting stuff. That's like the the infantry killer. Okay, another Hetzer. Mm -hmm. So maybe we will see Hetzers in Normandy. Or no, you said Hetzers were not Normandy. They were on the... I'm, like I'm, a pretty, lot of sure, these the I'm pretty sure there were eventually Hetzers in Normandy. I just know they made their debut on the Eastern Front, though. Yeah. What is this? The Panzer IV? Is no, that is a, no, that is a late model Panzer III. Oh, okay. So maybe we'll see so, some late Panzer threes in Normandy. So what happened is um, because of Operation Barbarossa, most of the Panzer threes went into Russia with 37 millimeter guns. And remember how we we're talking about how yeah. they ran into like the KV two and also like the T thirty four. They gave them the bigger gun. They gave them a 50 millimeter gun to help them. Because they couldn't do it. Because 37 millimeter gun was obsolete by that time. And then the Americans um, put on a Stewart because they're stupid. Oh, I killed a stug finally. Yeah. So we'll see some late modern Panzer Panzer III. You will also you will also see that Panzer III with the 50 millimeter gun most likely in Tunisia as well. Oh okay yeah that's that's another thing is a lot of these might be in Tunisia. Wait what is this? I don't know what this is. This thing looks weird as hell. That's a War Thunder vehicle right there. What is this? Oh, that is, this is the, um, Storm Howitzer. The Sturm Howitzer, okay. Is this, like, serving so, the same role that the Stug does? Like a, like an assault piece kind of thing? Or is it more like a Scott? Yes, more, more like a, uh, assault gun. Okay. Though much, much bigger. That is a, um, I believe that is a, uh, it's either a 10.5, so 105 or even 150 millimeter. I'd actually have to look it up. But big gun, very big gun. It's actually cool. You can. Looks like they have it modeled to where you can fire in because I can hit the breach here. Yeah, so you'll be able to also burn the crew alive with the Molotov or flamethrower. Oh like, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. They'll make Molotov a lot better. Than they are now. So that'll be cool. But that's so that's like purely anti-infantry kind of thing, right? I mean, I'm sure it has AP rounds, but oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure the I'm sure all vehicles will have uh, AP, high ex yeah. uh, high explosive and some sort of armor piercing round to defend itself from vehicles. But it's mainly going to be for, for HE, I would think. Oh, cool. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's an M8, right? Greyhound, I think, right there. Oh, that's yeah. That's like what a you're Wolverine. Driving, what you're driving towards. Yep, that's an M8 Greyhound. Yep. So this will be cool. I wonder if they'll make it to where instead of starting with the Stuart, you start with the Greyhound. That would be kind of cool. I always felt like that would make more sense. Greyhound versus Puma would actually be hysterical. Yeah, it's like both sides are just zooming around the map. That would be really, really cool. And yep. it's a 50 on top. Is that a 50? Yeah, that that, yep. that is an M250. Yep, so it's a 50 cal, and then um, just the same as the Stuart, the 37 mil cannon. Funny historical note, an M8 is actually credited with killing a Tiger at St. Vith. Oh. That's actually funny, because when I played Hell Let Loose, I actually took down a Tiger with a with a greyhound by shooting yeah. it repeatedly in the ass and uh saint, saint vith is in uh belgium it happened i believe uh during the battle of the bulge that the m8 greyhound actually killed the a tiger just, just managed to somehow pen through and hit something important uh, snuck up behind it and shot it in the engine compartment yeah very cool i'm really excited for this i like the really fast vehicles like this m8 and then it has a 50 on it so i bet it'll be, it'll be really good at just bowing down infantry mm -hmm. That's a jumbo. Wait, is that a jumbo? Yeah, that's a jumbo. Yeah, that's jumbo. That's a jumbo. That's another jumbo. And then this. That's an M24 Chaffee. Yeah, that's a Chaffee. Chaffees look that's... so cool. I feel like these are like modern tanks. Like they look so modern. 
Well, this th th this is the replacement to the Stuart um, as a light tank for the U.S. military during World War II. It came towards the very end of the war. Yeah. So maybe we'll see this um, in the Bulge then? Yes, Battle of the Bulge, the actual... Um, there were Chaffees that actually fought against some of the Panzer divisions and suffered horrifically at the very <laughs> beginning of the Battle of the Bulge. Well, I'm really excited for this because this thing looks... I just feel like this thing looks so cool. Like, it just feels like a, it's like a very sleek, like, modern-feeling design, I feel like. Really cool looking. Yeah, so, I mean, I mean it's, it's gotta be Bulge. I mean, they have to be planning for the Battle of the Bulge, right? Like, oh, definitely. This can't definitely. be here without them planning. And it just that. goes to show you, Quadro, like, the difference between, like, early war-like designs versus, like, towards, like, the end of war oh, designs. Yeah. Where people figured things out, like, a lot better. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Like, just looking at Panzer II versus, like, a Tiger. Like, yeah. Uh, all right, so that's a that's a Stuart. What is this? Is this another? Is this the Chaffee? It looks like it has a bigger gun. No, that's not a Chaffee. Oh, this is a Wolverine or a or a. No, this this is an M eighteen Hellcat. Yeah, Hellcat. Yeah. Yep, Hellcat. These things. One of these... the one of the fastest ve ground vehicles built during World War Two. Yeah, these things are really cool. Mhm. Mm this was like, this was what they meant to use like. Shermans weren't, like, really meant to take on enemy tanks. If they saw one, they were supposed to just be like, hey, bring a tank destroyer over here, and then these things yeah, rolled the, over. The problem is the tank destroyers were never around when you needed one. Yeah, exactly. That's not how tank combat works. <laughs> like, And then this has, uh, this is a 76 on it, right? Yes, this is a 76 millimeter cannon. Yep, so this would be able to take out basically anything the Germans have. Um, yes, um, for the most part, it was, it was all about what distance they could engage at, but it was much better than trying to shoot at Panthers and Tigers with 75 millimeter yeah, guns. Yeah, true. Yeah. And then this, um, this would be in Bulge as well, or were these available in Normandy? So most likely, most likely the Bulge. Yeah, yeah. These, these didn't actually, like, they built them in the later half of 1943, but I don't believe, uh, they were available. Oh, no, actually I take that back. No, they were in Italy um oh okay so, maybe we'll so see an italian conflict probably pro I, I would say probably not so much the d-day landing themselves but like the battle of normandy yeah okay Kinda, very, very much I like mean, the jumbo yeah, like they like, showed up sometime during if, that part if the jumbo's in the game that could very well end up being added right like yes the jumbo's didn't actually see anything and then is this this is an m10 yeah this is the m10 yeah yeah. And the, the Hellcat was made after the M M10, right? Correct, correct. Yeah. So this was like the early tank destroyer, and then they were like, let's make it faster, and let's make it have a bigger gun. Yes, and the M10 actually replaced what was the original American tank destroyer, which was a M3 half-track with a 75mm cannon on it. Oh, God, I don't want to which is that which isn't Which isn't in the uh, game right now. Um, when they were used, the first unit to use them was at Kasserim Pass, and they lost all of them. Oh my god. In, yeah, in I, I can't Africa. imagine why. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not very armored half-track with a big gun fighting tanks. Like, yeah. Bad plan. Well, this will be really cool. So we have two different tank destroyers. That one was probably in Normandy, right? This one actually was serving in the very tail end of North Africa all the way through the end of the war. Okay, so probably we'll see that in Normandy, and then I would imagine, or Tunisia even, and then yes, we'll see the, this. The British did use yeah. the M10. They called it the, even though there's the a 17 pounder version of the Achilles, they still called the ones armed with the American 76 millimeter the Achilles. Yeah, I wonder if we'll see, we, we might see like the that version of it and then later on in the tunisian campaign we'll get like the achilles with the 17 pounder variant on it maybe that would that's be very we'll cool get. yeah that would make sense and then um the hellcat probably in bulge definitely bulge oh this one looks kind of longer maybe it's yeah. just the angle well oh wait is this it it has like a little yeah that might it. be it i think yeah. this is it yeah because it's got this little thing on the end of it I think this is it, because it also has a different front, and it has a different thing right here. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. It looks way different. Yeah, that's the man. Okay, yeah. so this would be the 76, then. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty I sure. I could get in. We could, we could be wrong, and then yeah. the internet will get angry at us. Yeah, well, that, that's that's standard. Yeah. Um, okay, well, I, I mean, at least it looks different, so it's some sort of different variant. Maybe this is the Easy 8 or some shit? Uh, definitely not an Easy 8, because okay, well, it's different on it. It could, it could be just a, like the 76 millimeter Sherman. Ah, okay. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So, guys, those are all the tanks that 
you know, we've seen in the practice range, I think those are all the tanks that we can expect to be added. Now, not all of them might be added. There might be some of them that are just put into the game and they might end up just not, you know, putting them into the uh, the actual campaigns themselves and they'll forever just kind of sit in the wasteland that is this practice range. But hey, if they're here, I think there's a good chance that we'll see them in the main campaign. Personally, I'm most excited for the Russian tanks here. The KV-2, I think is gonna, just gonna be so ridiculous to see on the battlefield. I feel like this is like some something out of like a nightmare or something. It just looks so weird to me. I love it. It's it's uh, such a goofy looking tank. And then the ISU-152 over there, I'm also really excited for. And then the, the American M8 Greyhound. I wanna zoom around the map with a 50 cal shooting Pumas in the side. I think that is just gonna be so much fun to uh to screw around and, and goof off with so let me know down in the comments though guys what you guys are most excited to see are you guys excited for the british tanks that we aren't able to see here are you guys excited for some tanks that also weren't in this area here that you expect to be seen or just some wacky weird stuff some some obscure tank that you know we haven't seen yet that you want to be added to the game in the future let me know again down in the comments guys and if you enjoyed the video remember as always like comment and subscribe it does help me out i do really appreciate it you can also come follow me at twitch.tv slash heyquadro. I'd love to have you guys over there playing some games, seeing some live gameplay. And finally, guys, you can join our community Discord. The link for that is down in the description below. We have a great looking for group system. Lots of people always looking to queue up and play together. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.